So our drinks have arrived. I'm a little bit nervous because this latte has gold sprinkles, 23 carats. Today, let's test a $3 versus $30 coffee in Abu Dhabi. We are just about to enter the biggest mosque in the world. We took a quick trip to Abu Dhabi to check out a few things, visit some coffee shops, but look at how big this dala is. Imagine how much coffee you could make in this thing. Sheikh Zayed was the founding father and first ever president of the United Arab Emirates. And this, in fact, is the biggest mosque in the UAE. And these chandeliers right here have a total of 40 kilos of 24 karat gold. So we just made our way out of the mosque and we could really use a coffee. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna try the espresso. I haven't tried the Tim Hortons espresso probably ever. Definitely not here in the United Arab Emirates. So let's try it out. Okay. I actually like it. It's nice. Yeah. It's not the best. Lacking a bit of sweetness. Maybe if they pulled a little bit shorter. Um, but we're not here to critique Tim Hortons espresso. But here we are drinking with Sheikh Zayed behind us. Sheikh Zayed, yeah. After a quick spro, we zipped over to Emirates Palace, a five-star hotel, to find one of the most luxurious coffees I've ever seen in my life. This place is next level. So we're at the Emirates Palace Abu Dhabi, which is uh, owned by the local government, and it's one of the most luxurious buildings in the world. It costs three billion dollars to make it. And we are here to drink one of the most luxurious coffees in the world. Let's go check it out. So we're gonna get the gold cap and the gold gold brew. That's hard to say. Gold, actual gold. Our drinks have arrived. I'm a little bit nervous. It used to be 24 karat, now they've reduced it to 23 karat, but it is still gold sprinkled on this on this coffee. And check this out, it comes in a nice espresso martini glass. I don't know how this is gonna taste, but this is their cold brew, also sprinkled with gold. So it's not quite what I expected. I expected something sweet. This has a little bit more acidity to it. It's almost like juicy. So now I'm gonna try the latte. Yeah, I don't even know what to ex expect from this drink. Mm. It's actually not bad. Of course, the, the foam on the latte is not like a perfect flat white or anything. It's actually not as sweet as I expected. It's, it's got a nice balance to it. This is quite the interesting drink. So this comes out to around $30 US if you want to have a latte with gold sprinkles or gold foil sprinkles on top. Imagine having an espresso martini like this, but with gold on top. Again, this one has a little bit more acidity to it. I'm not sure what they add in there. It's, it's some sort of fruitiness. Of course, it's not pure cold brew. It's almost like a grapefruit. I know a lot of people make uh, cold brew with grapefruit peels or grapefruit juice, um, but wow, that's very nice. We cannot forget about the dates. Having dates with coffee is a really traditional thing here in the Middle East. Let's see how that pairs with the latte. Mm. Wow. That is so good. I recommend it if you're around. It's kind of a, a unique opportunity here in the Royal Palace. What better place to drink coffee with gold on top? Only in Abu Dhabi or maybe somewhere else if you've ever tried gold on your food or your coffee do leave it down in the comments i'm curious to hear where else i could get this around the world but what better place to try coffee covered in gold 